Hey guys, it's Xcarlof here. In my video about my Foxflower farming route, there was a guy that asked in the comments what my addon was that I used to see the uh, gathering nodes on my map. So today we are going to talk about two addons. We are going to take a closer look at the GatherMate 2 addon together with the additional addon called GatherMate 2 Data. If you want to download the add-ons, you can also find a link in my video description, but it's also included in my add-on package that I released 2 months ago. But anyways guys, let's go straight into the add-on settings so we can start with setting up the add-on. Now to open up the add-on, you can write down forward slash gathermate into your chat box, or you can simply hit escape, go to interface and click on add-ons at the top, and then press on gathermate. Here we have already some options to take a look at. Now if you want, you can just copy how I have everything set up here, but in case you want to know what these settings are used for, I will try to explain it as good as I can. You already know that this add-on is used to see the gathering nodes on your map. But let's say that I don't want to see the gathering nodes for archaeology on my map, you can click on the drop down menu and change it to only show when you have that profession learned. Now you can also just completely hide it as well but that is basically personal preference. Now go to minimap and here you can change the icon scale that is displayed on your world map but also on your minimap. Now let's say that, that I want to increase the icon size on my minimap, you can simply use the slider and you will notice that it's going to increase the size of the icons. If you want you can also change the icon alpha which is basically the opacity of the icons. Now when you slide it to the right side they will be visible and when you slide it to the left side they will be completely hidden. Now move over to filters and here you can select the node types that you want to be displayed on your map. So let's say that I don't want to see the archaeology nodes, you can simply uncheck all these boxes over here. Or if you want to make them visible, you can simply check all the boxes and that will display the nodes back onto your map. But since I only use this for gathering flowers or mining ores, I only have everything checked for herbalism and also mining, otherwise it can become a huge mess onto your map. Next we have the maintenance option and this one is also pretty important. Now over time when you gather a lot, your database might also become crowded. Now cleaning up that, that uh, database also involves looking for the nodes of the same profession type that are near each other and basically overlapping each other. So to prevent that from happening you can clean it up by clicking the clean up database button over here and that should fix the problem. And finally we have arrived at the last option where I want to talk about the import data option. As you have noticed in the beginning of my video I also introduced two add-ons and one of them was the GatherMate 2 data add-on. Now a lot of people have no clue what the add-on is used for and that is also what I'm going to explain you right now. So this add-on will let you import the data from other users. So what I mean by that is when you fresh install this add-on, you first need to start gathering a couple times to make the nodes appear onto your map, so you can actually remember where you have found the most nodes. But with this add-on you can simply import all the nodes onto your map without farming it yourself. So first we have the import style. If you click that drop down menu you can choose between two options here. Now the first one is merge and if you select that one it will merge all the data that you are going to import with the data that you already have. The other option is overwrite and if you select that one it will replace your current database with the data that you are about to import. Since I use my druid for herbalism I'm going to import a database for herbalism so make Make sure that you select the correct box over here. Now when you go down a little bit more we arrive at the import options. Now here, here we also have the drop down menu where you can select the expansion that you want to import the data for. But since we are currently in the legion expansion I'm going to select legion of course. Now once you did that you simply need to click on import gathermate 2 data over here and when you did that you will actually open up your world map and you will notice 
notice that your map is also completely full with all the nodes that you have just imported. So hey guys we have come to the end of the video right now and I also hope that you have enjoyed it. But anyways guys that's it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe my name is Xcarlive and I see you in the next one.